loud whistles and thick steam. An old-fashioned green train inches across a small county in southwest China's Sichuan province every day. It is allegedly the last passenger steam locomotive still in normal operation in China. Another aspect that makes this time-honored vehicle special is its rear track. Its gauge measures 762 millimeters, only half the size of the standard one. Now let's take a look at how it's like inside the carriage. Wooden benches, windows without glasses. One can even smell the coal that powers the engine while wobbling forward in the carriages without lights. Over the past six decades, the giant steam train in the Qianwei County has been serving as the major commuting method for people living alongside the railway. I've taken this train since I was in my 20s. Now I'm in my 60s. You can imagine how many times I've taken it over these years. The Sino-British giant coal mine was established in the town of Ba Jiao Go in 1938. Twenty years later, the railway was constructed to transport coal. Even today, some elderly retired coal miners still clearly remember how the narrow-gauge railroad changed their way of working. We had to carry the coal out of the town using manpower in the beginning. After the railway was opened, the coal was hauled by the small train to the dock and then ferried to Chongqing. In recent years, some better equipped sightseeing carriages were added to meet the needs of the growing number of tourists who swarm to experience the so-called living fossil of the Industrial Revolution, especially during spring when the train passes through the blooming flowers. Steam trains are getting increasingly rare. This trend has gone through different eras over the past decades. We hope the younger generations can learn more about the history and culture by experiencing it. The operator has a bigger development blueprint in the coming years. No matter how prosperous local tourism will be or how fast the country's high-speed railway will develop, for locals, Taking the shabby train to fairs, schools, or homes of their relatives will be their lasting habit as well as a significant memory. Yang Jinghao, CGTN, Leshan, Sichuan Province.